What's up guys? Time to show off a cool build. This is going out to Mr. Jim. This is his mystery build. Um, something real cool here I thought I could do for him. He's a Steelers fan, so I thought this would work out perfect. Um, did a <coughs> forged carbon fiber dial in here with the yellow handset. He's a Steelers guy, so I thought, you know what, this black docks a case that's accented in both white and yellow would be perfect for him. Um, so it just worked out nicely because I was waiting on the strap to come in. This is a, uh, most of my stuff I do is in 22 millimeter, but these doxes are 20s. So this is a 22 wrapped in a 20. So you can see it's 20 until it gets up to the case and it drops to a 20 millimeter with um, yellow stitching. It has a solid milled case back on it, black crown. You have your forged carbon fiber dial there under a sapphire glass. And a black preview buckle here with a little BVW on there. Um, bezel on this, the interior stays the same. And that's what you're going to use to help your tell time. Your exterior is your movable tachymeter bezel. This measures speed, so if something takes a full minute to get to you or to get whatever, it's going 60 miles an hour. If it takes... 15 seconds, it's 120 miles an hour. 30 seconds, it's going 90 miles an hour. So, uh, for reference on that. Bezel on this obviously is a, a, a 120 click that way. It does not go backwards. Um, automatic mechanical, this is an NH movement with a 41 hour power reserve on it. Uh, has a rotor in the back you just can't see. But So if it's dead or you're not going to be very active, you're going to want to wind it just a little bit. And how you do that is you back the crown off the threads and it will kick out into your hand. And at that point you can wind. Winding it is turning it away from you. The crown position will hold it out so you don't have to go back and forth. You can just go one direction if you want. Winding it back towards you won't wind it. And you can't ever wind it. When you go with your winding you're going to pull it to the one and only click. And you have a hacking movement, so it's going to stop right wherever you pull it out. And you can now set your time. And I think I set this off a little bit different earlier. I had it wound up and running, but I don't know that I actually set the time on it. I was trying to take pictures and I wanted the hands separated a bit. Uh, okay, Google, what time is it? It's 1.18 p.m. 1.18 p.m. So when you're good, you're going to push it over get it out of that time setting you're going to notice your second hand picks right back up and you're going to push in and twist the dial on this is a forged carbon fiber dial you've got a set of yellow mariner hands in there and a black pointer hand and that sir is your build I hope you like it, it came out pretty awesome it's going to come with matching beads as always and I don't have a black BVW box or a yellow one, but I do have one silver left. I did not realize how many watches I've been selling lately. So, gonna have yourself a silver BVW box. Apparently the wife is leaving. Um, <clears throat> this will come with watch cleaner. This is a foamer. It's good on all glass and metal parts. Everything here in the center. Non-streaking, non-toxic, non-residue, as well as a microfiber. And this will also come with leather conditioner. This is for the strap to keep it perfectly soft. Apply it on the front and back. Let it soak in. Remove any excess. A little bit will go a long way. And don't use your microfiber. If you need to use it, use a rag of some sort. And that, sir, is your build. Uh, hope you love it. Like I said, it came out pretty awesome. Uh, and if you want me to build you something custom and unique, reach out and I'll see what I can do. If you want to continue to see videos like this, like and subscribe as I put them up all the time. Thanks, guys.